Hi everybody. My name is Timothy Trespass and I am a targeted individual. Uh, I make these videos because, well, for several reasons. Uh, A, because the only thing I can think of that will make any difference in the consciousness of this nation and possibly the world is if every single targeted individual manages somehow to tell their story and that someone else hears it and, and understands that this is happening. Um, I also do it because it helps me uh, to have some way to talk about these things. And also uh, in the hopes that it helps other people who are undergoing this same nightmare and beginning to understand or figure out what's happening to them. Um, I also wanted to document the pain and suffering because we're all human beings and um, I think that this exemplifies quite clearly the branching that is going on now. Many people don't realize it, but the choices that we make on a daily basis uh, lend themselves to decide what side we're on. And the times, they are changing, <laughs> to use a little cliche there, um, rapidly. And it appears to me that a, a, a division is being drawn, a line is being drawn. And what side of this line are you on? You know, the, the sitting on the fence thing, the time for that is, is quickly drawing to a close. And we're going to have to decide what do we, each of us, as an individual, as a human being, responsible for ourselves and our actions and uh, for the effect they have on others and the world, to decide you know, what do we stand for? Do we stand for good? Do we stand for love? Do we stand for compassion, justice, freedom, service? You know, do we stand for individuality and collectivism? Do we stand for community and family? Do we stand for our creator, for the grace and goodness and miraculous wonder that this planet offers us? Or are we going to fall victim to the constant drone of propaganda, television programming that programs us to follow the attitudes and behaviors, the emulation of those we see on TV. Are we going to stand for greed? Are we going to stand for selfishness? Are we going to stand for uh, contempt and self-righteousness? Are we going to stand for uh, I'm better than you and therefore you need to suffer more than me? Are we going to stand for, you know, homelessness and economic manipulation? Are we going to stand for forced uh, mental aberration? Are we going to stand for no-touch torture? Are we going to stand for 24 hours, 7 day a week, 365 day a year, complete and total surveillance of not just what you do, but what you think? Are we going to stand for facial recognition and genetic manipulation? Are we going to stand for chemtrails and poisoning our environment and melting the polar ice caps and changing life on this planet to make it more and more and more difficult for humans to survive as they squeeze things tighter and tighter, pretending that economic collapse is uh, not something that was brought about purposely? Are we going to stand for one another and for ourselves, or are we going to stand for a system that really doesn't care whether we live or die? Are we going to stand for a system that enslaves us for birth, from birth? That uh, forces us to register our children and ourselves, our biological selves, and, and make a, a corporate straw man front entity that can then be bossed around and exploited and enslaved in an economy that is so 
tightly regulated that only the rich get richer and the poor get to be poor. I mean, it's it's obvious to, to everyone. All you have to do is look around, and you can see how many people are are suffering. Or people are picking up bottles and cans. People are living in you know one paycheck away from from devastation, and you know our social networks barely exist. Um, this is this is the country that that we stand for, you know, uh, one nation under God, indivisible for freedom and justice for all. I think we've strayed a long way from from those ideals that were set forth in our Constitution and our Bill of Rights, and and the more we are afraid, and the more we refuse to help. And the more we say, well, it's not my problem, and the more we're led around by the propaganda and not by our hearts and our souls, you know, the deeper and darker this thing is going to get, you know. I have no idea whether the fear-mongering and information warfare that's being used against the population is in fact true. You know, you tell people the world is ending so many times, eventually they're going to say, bah, it's just a crock up, and not do anything. <clears throat> you know, our, our society, our human society, should be preparing for inevitable changes so that we can sustain ourselves and, and our good way of life. However, we're not doing that. We're still running down the same course of forced wars, uh, murdering our brothers and sisters for religion, for money, for patriotism, for any excuse that they can get us to do it. It needs to change. We need to change inside of ourselves because those influences that are external to us, that we're exposed to on a daily basis in this country, most of them are not in our best interests. There is a division, a divide, it's getting wider and wider. And as the technology becomes more and more sophisticated, and to many people almost as if magic, as we're poisoned by our food and food additives by corporations that basically are sacrificing us to, to their evil gods, you know? Whether you believe this or not doesn't really matter. It's happening. I'm evidence. I'm living proof. Or rather... Well, anyway. And I know that, that, that... You know, this unconscionable behavior is occurring globally. We don't know what to do when we live in a society where the things that are that we put in place to protect us are now being used against us. And there's nowhere to turn but to each other and to God. And what are we going to do? We're going to sit around and let it happen? Are we going to do what they want us to do and become terrorists in our own nation and demand our rights? Are we going to find some peaceable solution? Are we even all working for the same goal? I don't know. Just a lot of thoughts. Uh, I'm suffering from uh, beaming high frequency in my head, in my headache. It you know, goes from this side to this side. Taunting, tormenting. I'm sure as a target, you people know what's going on. We need to somehow figure this out, or somehow reclaim our sovereignty, our, our humanness, and our divine connection. I don't know, I wish I knew the answer, but I think it's inside of us. Thanks for watching. Thank you.